Hello, welcome to Borderline Obsessed Travels, where I'm trying to get to every U.S. state high point, tri point, county, and national park for no reason in particular. This video is mainly Kansas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Hope you enjoy it! I'm in St. Francis, Kansas right now. I was here very recently. Um, this is close to the Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska tri-point, which I'm gonna drive to right now. And the last time I drove through here, I wanted to do the Kansas high point, which is like um, an hour and a half from here and also this tri-point, but it was sleeting. I heard that the roads are like dirt and it's not great to try to drive on them when they're wet. So I drove right through this whole area and bypassed both of those things. So I'm gonna do them now. Thank goodness there's signs pointing me there. 9.75 miles to three corners. Hopefully this road continues to be pretty good condition. From this point, I think this is private property, but they do let you drive up here. So following signs still. Once I got onto the private property, I think I immediately made a wrong turn. There's like a fork. I made a right. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to make a left. So I had to back up kind of far <laughs> to get back to that fork. So I had to follow about 20 miles of dirt roads to get here to the three corners monument, but it was all well packed, no issues there. So this is the Three Corners Monument where Yuma County, Colorado, Cheyenne County, Kansas, and Dundee County, Nebraska meet. You can hear prairie dogs. They're very small and far away, but there are a bunch of prairie dogs living right here. I just got to Mount Sunflower. You can drive all the way up here on dirt roads that are very wide and in very good condition. There are signs pointing you in the right direction so you're not really gonna get lost. And this is on private property, but it is open to the public. Mount Sunflower is the highest point in Kansas and the 28th highest state high point in the US at 4,039 feet in elevation. Colorado is less than a half mile to the west and you can see a bunch of windmills in the distance. I slept in town in Taos, New Mexico last night. Right now it's 5.30 in the morning and I am about to head up to Taos Ski Valley, which is where the trailhead to Wheeler Peak, the highest point in New Mexico is. I think it's about an hour drive to get there from here. It's not very far, but it's like up a mountain. All right, it's 6.40, I'm about to start hiking. I think it's about an eight mile round trip hike. Um, it goes above 13,000 feet. Elevation is new to me, so We'll see how this goes. I think there's about 4,000 feet of elevation gain over the four miles to reach the peak. I think this is about two miles in. The trail splits. You can either go to Williams Lake or Wheeler Peak. I'm gonna go that way to Wheeler Peak. When I'm coming down the mountain, if I get back here and I'm not dead yet, I'll go to the lake. It's pretty cold up here. When I started this morning, I think it was in the like mid 40s. Um, and it's the middle of August right now. So pack layers. And I've heard that it often storms around like mid early afternoon. So try to get an early start to uh, beat that. The trail hasn't really been that hard yet. But I'm already struggling, and like the, the second half of the trail, from what I hear, is much more difficult than the first half. I don't know if this is an elevation thing or if this is just a me being out of shape thing, but this is rough. <laughs> My hiking method so far has been walk for 30 seconds, stand still for 15 seconds, over and over again. And it seems like it's working pretty well so far, because I am making progress. I don't even know which one Wheeler Peak is. It might be that one, I, I don't know. There are a bunch of marmots near the trail, and 
I didn't know what a marmot was for some reason. I was picturing something like groundhog sized, but they're more like squirrel sized with no tail. <laughs> but they make little like yelling sounds. They sound kind of like birds. So I think the elevation was not what was getting to me. I think I was just really tired, which is a good thing because the higher I'm going up, it almost feels like it's getting easier <laughs> for some reason. I don't think that's right. There are portions of the trail where you're walking across rocks like this. I know I'm getting close, but it feels like this is going on for forever. The peak is there, with all the people on it. I think I need to go along this ridge now to get to Whaler Peak. Very close now. That's Whaler Peak, the highest point in New Mexico, and the eighth highest state high point in the U.S. at 13,161 feet. Uh, yeah. no, this is the highest one so far. Nice. Colorado is so far away. Yeah. We were looking at doing Colorado. I got a chocolate bar. It took me exactly three and a half hours to get up here. Um, I was dragging. <laughs> a lot of people passed me. I did not pass a lot of people. It's like 5.15 right now. I just got to the trailhead for the Humphreys Peak Trail, which is the highest point in Arizona. It's a little bit north of Flagstaff at the Arizona Snowbow, which is like a skiing area. I was here pretty recently um, and it was very, very stormy and it freaked me out. So I left, but now I'm back because uh, it's just apparently monsoon season near Flagstaff. I did not realize <laughs> that Arizona had a monsoon season, but apparently it does. So I'm here early. I'm planning on, um, Waiting until it gets a little bit brighter. I don't think it's supposed to storm until like 11 a.m. today, and hopefully I'll be done by then. I think it's a little bit over five miles to get to Humphreys Peak, so a little bit over 10 miles total. I think there's a little over 3,000 feet of elevation gain to get to the peak from here, and the peak is a little over 12,000 feet in elevation. It's 5.45 a.m. I am about to start. A lot of useful information at the trailhead. Temp's gonna be in the high 40s. It is gonna rain at some point today. Sunset's at 7.08. This is pretty much what the trail looks like so far. Lots of down trees, but the trail itself isn't blocked. The trail so far has been a series of very long and not very steep switchbacks. It's really foggy up here. The views have pretty much gone away. I think I have like a mile left. I hear there's like two or three false peaks before you reach the real one. That looks like it should be the peak, but it's not. The trail gets kind of hard to follow here, especially when it's this foggy, but there are stakes in the ground like this as trail markers. And you can usually make out the next one in the distance. I am hoping that's the peak right there, but it might not be. I've already hit like three things that seem like they could have been the peak. This is Humphreys Peak, the highest point in Arizona and the 12th highest state high point in the U.S. at 12,633 feet above sea level. It took me about three hours and 15 minutes to get up here. It's about five miles. The register to sign in is right there. It's surprisingly calm up here. I've heard it can be very windy up here, so that's good. I'm not gonna spend too much time up here though because if it starts storming, which it does a lot, I wanna be below the tree line. I wanna be well below the tree line.
I just went off trail for like 10 minutes. Um, luckily, I heard people talking and that led me back to the correct trail. <laughs> it has started drizzling and thundering. I think I have like two miles left. Um, I'm, I'm below the tree line, as you can tell. Uh, I'm more exposed than I would like to be, but this is definitely preferable to being on the peak right now. Took me a little under three hours to get down and a little over six hours total. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want, don't if you don't, and I will see you soon. Bye.